What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. That's Mike. What's going on? I'm Chris. And today, folks, we have got something very special for you. That's if you right. think so, you may not. I don't know. You, you, who knows? But uh, what we got for you is some insider information. Uh, Mike and I received this information a little while back, and we've been kind of just waiting to kind of present it, you know, uh, when, when the right time would be. And you know what? This is the right time? That's right. I think so. I think so. So uh, let's jump into it. Uh, I'm sure you can already tell, title of video, this and that. It's about a, it's about a gun or uh, the potential of guns in the Badlands. So uh, I am going to read what our informant has given us. And you're going to hear it with, with your ears. So uh, at some point in the future of Into the Badlands, um, this, this, our informant is telling us a male character is near death. He's crawling away um, from danger in a massive hole in the ground, uh, possibly a quarry of some type. Yes. Um, as he's crawling away, he comes across an object in the dirt, the rubble, or, or what, what have you, or in the soil. And lo and behold, it's a gun craziness so yeah uh, apparently that would you know um essentially that would be like the only gun in existence in the badlands now before yeah. we jump into it mike we know that guns have been outlawed in into the badlands mk's first opening monologue in episode one of season one he explains that guns have been outlawed so so they know that they were they had existed at one point but right but also the, no one's seen one in Right. However, so does well, that mean? Does that mean? You know, again, the word "outlawed" is a is a is a is an indicator as to that doesn't necessarily mean there are none. You know what I mean? That someone doesn't have them. There's a lot of little corners and a little little shady spots that we know, little black market areas that we know that are in the badlands or out of the badlands. Maybe they're out of the. They could be. Hey, he said in the badlands. It could be out of the badlands. Right. That's true. This is one of those topics that we've always kicked around right. um, between ourselves. And, and if you guys don't know, we did a couple awesome interviews with uh, Sherman Augustus and they know. and uh, Daniel Wu. Yes. And we even asked these guys these questions. And it's kind of like one of those uh, one of those answers. They, they can't. They're like kinda, zip. Kinda, yes, yeah. they can't spoil it. So um, it, like you said, in, in, in that uh, information there, uh, who, do, who do you think this male character is? Um, can possibly be um i don't know man you and i you know we talked about it uh, you know pretty much at length previously and dude i think uh, you know it might be beigey like i don't know why like i think you yeah. feel the same right uh, listen i could he still be locked in the uh meridian, meridian chamber, chamber the whole yeah. time and and um a big a big part of this is um who who will wield if if in fact they there is this this gun there who's you know who's the gun in in best hands um i think no. baji is one of those guys that maybe in the in the in the scrum of things and um it could potentially be a pilgrim thing it could be the finale episode or something like that they do mention the quarry we know that they were digging in this quarry so it's just going to be interesting um to see how how it's going to be used and, yeah. and and who will use it the right way and and you had some interesting um, points about um, if indeed a gun is found how are they going to make the bullets and things like that yeah. so what do you well yeah like so so for like you know we're saying that they okay let's just say a gun is found in the badlands how is it going to change found, it found right right well right how, first of all is it is it loaded is it it you know guns are you know not they're you know they lock up they get you know you have to clean a gun you have to maintain the weapon you know and if this is sitting in the dirt is it preserved if is it not so there's a lot of factors that go into whether or not it can be used uh right away let alone at all and yeah. then and then the situation is do you have people that can make bullets um you know my initial response to that is probably because you probably have – there are some old-timers in the Badlands that are making the weapons. You know, who are making the weapons for the Clippers, right? Obviously, mm -hmm. there's people making weapons for Clippers. It's not 20-year-old yeah. kids. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's going to be seasoned veterans of of the Badlands that are most likely making these weapons, I mean, in my opinion. But yeah. as far as making bullets, you know, they have – hey, listen, they've got bombs. They've got fire arrows. They've got – essentially, they've got grenades. You know, they, we've seen uh, all look this at, Look at Moon's hand that shoots the... It's a – right. Like, that's a yeah. that's a legit mechanical device controlled by, you know, um, 
you know, his nerves or whatever the heck you want to say, you know? So, so the point is, 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 yeah, I mean, yes, we're talking about fantasy here and that's fine. But I mean, look, my point is someone will know how to make bullets. I, I assume someone will know. So, you know, then, you, so then you also said, you know, how will that, like, what, what's that going to do? How's that going to change the situation? One gun yeah. in, in, listen, you still got to point and shoot that thing. That doesn't mean that you're going to be a crack shot, whoever gets it. However, yeah. however, however, let's not forget they have crack shot um, crossbow um, people. That yeah, I, I don't think I don't think there would be a rough transition from shooting the arrow, like you said, to shooting the gun. And the whole point of you saying with um, cleaning the gun and maintaining the guns and all that kind of stuff, obviously that's true in the real life. But in this thing, if there is a gun, I'm sure it's going to have no problem firing. <laughs> um, the the funny thing is, just thinking as you were as you were talking about um, the 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 possibility of making their own bullets and how long that that process will take is. I, I agree with you. It's very easy. They're making these insane weapons. They're making the gloves and all these kind of things and, and the legs for um, for Ren. Right. So it shouldn't be too hard. But the bigger question is, how come they've never made a like a gun? You know what I mean? Well, that's the thing. That's the whole point. Like I said. From scratch. I, or... Because like I said, I've reached, you know, well, I hadn't said it yet, but I have recently, you know, begun watching season one again. Yeah. And again, the first, in the opening monologue, my MK says, uh, guns have been outlawed. Yeah. So that. So they, so they know about them. Oh, so like, yeah. Wouldn't you think that someone would know how powerful that that weapon is? Right. You know, uh, throwing stars and all these kind of things. I mean, listen, that's awesome, and and that's what we love about the show too. Is just the martial arts part of it, and a, and a big part is not having a gun like that is what makes the show so great. Well, it forces it in. A, in a, yeah, right. In an arena where it's like now, it's about skill. Now you're not talking. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's what makes everybody a badass. You can't put a, a gun ass. in. Yeah, exactly. You can't put Sonny's sword in a 10-year-old kid's hands, and, and he can wield it like like Sonny does. But you can take a gun, put it in that kid's hand, and he has a lot better chance of taking you down. Right. Um, yeah, it's kind of that point and click kind of thing. So it's just it, it's just one of these one of these really cool topics, and I want you, I want everybody watching this to really get their ideas in in the comments section. Um, let's let's talk about how do you feel. Or, all right, the gun is in the hands of Pilgrim. The gun is in the hands of Minerva. The gun is in mm -hmm. the hands of Sonny. How will each one of those characters um, use that power? I, to be honest with you, if you if you want to go character by character there, like mm -hmm. Pilgrim, I don't think would use the gun. Okay. I don't, just flat out, I don't think he'd use the gun. I think he has more integrity than that. I don't think Sonny will use the gun. Um, I think Minerva, the widow, would use the gun, but yeah. not out of lack of integrity. I think for ease of use, meaning a, a way to quickly end something. Yeah, so, I mean, I kind of agree. I can, I can see. Oh no, maybe Pilgrim. Sunny would too. Then at that point, if, if I'm going by what I said about the widow, right? <laughs> yeah, just, just yeah. to because she's someone that wants to just. In and out. She wants. I feel like she wants things done. So I think I, it's interesting what you're saying though about how um, the integrity part of it. Yeah. I could see. I can see them using it as um, like always show it. It's like Rick and his 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 Python on his side all the time. Yeah. Like it. Like uh, it's one of those things that say, "Don't mess with me" because I have this whenever I want. Mm -hmm. And I agree with you saying I don't think Sunny will necessarily use it. I can see Pilgrim as like a like a fear tactic, like a scare tactic thing. Yeah. Like don't let me. You already know what I can do with my with my abilities my hands, and yeah. my weapons and all this kind of you know with thunder and lightning. Yeah, but <laughs> but but this is you know, I can see it getting into. And this goes back to the Baji thing. I can see getting into maybe one of those lesser kind of characters that uh, might not be the best fighter, but let me just use this so I can finish maybe somebody that's of greater power. I don't think I like the words lesser character, man. <laughs> well, as far as ability, <laughs> I, I like fighting ability. Hey, man, he's got his own style. He does, but you think Son he's, he can beat Sonny? You think he can beat Pilgrim? Who, if you're going to oh, take see now, Pilgrim... Oh, see, now, hold on a second. See, now you're bringing up a hold on the top. We won't get into that here. That yeah. might have to be a whole <laughs> other video. Can Sonny beat Beji? That is a good question. We might have to pose that to Daniel himself and right. see what he thinks about that. Hold on to I'm, that thought. Uh, I'm sure Daniel will say, of course, his own character, but but just just um, no. I know what you're saying. What you're saying is basically that it's somebody that again, Beji. The a reason weaker, you maybe the we the, it's it's not even about weakness or strength. What I think it's about 
It's about the character. Yeah. Again, you want to talk about an integrity or 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 the, the the impulse to finish something quickly. I think Beji's another character like that. Yeah. That would be yeah. He would use the gun, especially. All right, look. We don't. Okay, we don't know what's going to happen yet. Um, you know, we have heard Daniel and Sherman like they've talked a little bit here and there about what's going to happen, what's going to go down. There's going to be something going down with Beji and, and Sonny fighting Pilgrim, right? So Beji's going to get out of this at some point. You know that. My yeah. thing is he's in crunch time. Like he's in he's in alert mode. He's at DefCon Four. So I think him finding a gun. Let's just say in the middle of a death struggle, like to him, that's going to, of course, he'd end up grabbing that. He used a freaking octopus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is a man that's going to yeah. use anything at his disposal to yeah. stop, to end the fight and get out of the situation. Not out of cowardice, but out of, because he's, that's something I don't believe he is at all, but to, to end that situation. Yeah. It's a tool. And I'm sure it's he'd a have tool. a really great one-liner after he fires it. Of course, it. man. Are you kidding me? It's Nick Frost. Come on. <laughs> Let's um I mean I I I wanted to I wanted to kind of finish this. I didn't we you know we we didn't want to really make this video too long, but um uh, we wanted a lot more feedback from you guys. So what what's your theory? How was how would um gun to your head, no pun intended, how what are we gonna see with this gun? Like what what it what will what do you think will happen with this? Your your theory with this? How I, can that gun be I think pivotal in the in the in the upcoming if, season or not? I think if the information that we have is correct that we were mm -hmm. given, and that is legit, then you know, I think in that situation where it's one character finding it, and you, I I think it's a it's a it's a it's a situational thing where it will happen. And it'll put an end to whatever is happening at the time. If it fires and someone gets hurt or killed or something, then that's that. But I think yeah. if it's this particular situation that, again, guys, you know, this is, it's, you know, at this point we have to just say it's a, it's a speculative thing because we don't know either yes or no. It could change. Yep. It could be true. Whatever the point is, if that it is, then, you know, I think it'll be this one and done situation. I think it's going to be, and then later on, the powers that be, whoever, wherever, whatever hands it ends up in, it's going to be, you know, what do we do with this thing? Is yeah, this thing even worth good. using? Yep. Is it is yep. it a power thing? Oh, they have a gun, but you know what? A gun, a crossbow. Really, what's the difference? I mean, you had a guy sniping with a crossbow, and that's as that was literally as lethal as a gun. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, at this point, it's like, really, what can it, you know, what I want to, you know, so I don't know. What do you think about it? I'm thinking we're getting that, like, Super 7 team against Pilgrim. And I'm going to go with the Baji thing, like oh, we talked seven, about earlier. Yeah. yeah. And they're going to use that gun. If there's one bullet in there, five bullets in there, six bullets in there, that one bullet or whatever is going to be able to take out. The most powerful being in the Badlands oh, as of right now. So you think it's going to be used to get whatever it's it gonna, is? It's going to be used. If it, it's going to be found, um, if it is Baji, he might he might do that, that final death blow, and that's how Pilgrim's going to go. I mean, okay, a uh, big think, yeah. big big scuffle, a big. I don't care how many people we get. I don't care if we have the Widow, Chow, everybody together, Sunny against this man. I think it's going to be. Uh, it's going to come down to a feet. bullet to the head. And it's going to come down to some old technology that's going to be able to put him out. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Cool, man. Listen, hey, you know, we'll definitely, we're going to see, you know, the, the season, you know, starting up again in, in January. Yes. So, yes. you know, I mean, look, we're going to see, you know. Uh, Mike and I are going to have a bunch of videos for you coming out still. We've got some more interviews coming up with cast members right. and crew. Um, people who've helped create the show. We've got more people coming on the show, so definitely stay tuned. Look for that. Uh, so please, you know, subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you get those notifications. Uh, I will I will throw out a shout out to the Facebook group that Mike and I are in, um, obviously on Facebook. It's going to be, I'll put the link in the description. Go check yeah. it out. It's over 8,000 people strong. We've had a lot of fun. A lot it's, of fun a, it's a fantastic group. It's a kind, wonderful, smart you know, knowledgeable. funny group, knowledgeable group, very knowledgeable group. Uh, so, you know, get yourself in there, get in there guys. Also, if you haven't signed the petition at this point That's in time, right. if you're watching this relatively close to when we post, uh, if you haven't signed the petition to get Design it, so yeah, get into the Badlands to Comic-Con, uh, 2018 in October of this year. Um, really guys, it's, it's a way for, 
if they get to Comic-Con, it's a way for them to promote the show, which is what we're all trying to do here. Um, everyone that's doing this on YouTube, everyone that's writing articles and, you know, and Mike and I want to thank everybody who shared our, who shared that petition either in an article or on Twitter or on Facebook. Thank you very much. We really appreciate yes. you doing that, getting the word out. So join the groups, you know, get in there, talk to us, talk to us here. And before Mike does our sign off, I'll give you one more question that I'd like you to answer. How yeah. would guns in general in the Badlands change the Badlands or the show? What do you think? Good, bad, no good, you know? Let us know what you think in that. So, Mikey, where can they get us if they didn't know? Well, of course, if you don't know already, Third Person Podcast on YouTube and answer Chris's question in the comments. Get your ideas about the guns in the Badlands thing in the comments. We love writing. We love hearing from you guys. So write your hearts uh, until your fingers bleed. Uh, Check us out at Third Person Pod on Instagram and on Facebook and Twitter as well. Uh, we got a lot of great people retweeting a lot of the stuff, especially the petition. Absolutely. And you can have a listen to us on iTunes as well. Yep, iTunes, Google, Stitcher, all that good stuff. That's it, guys. Uh, so uh, till the next Badlands video, we will see you then. Peace out.